Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And I just want to break the news that my our, my channel, Wet Shaving with Angelo, has reached over 200 subscribers. I want to thank all of you for all of your enthusiasm, your support, and your general good vibes with my videos. I just want to say thank Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all my, every, every last one of you. Now, for the shave of today, today is Tuesday, and for many wet shavers, that's Tabac Tuesday. So I thought, what better time to break out my Tabac shaving soap? And the scent, now, the, the scent of Tabac is a little bit polarizing. Some say it smells like an old man. Others like it. I, I personally like it. I think it's kind of a classic scent. The, note, the scent notes on tobacco is top notes is pepper, pedigree, citrus, neroli. Mid notes are lavender, chamomile, geranium, and oak moss. And the base notes are carnation, sandalwood, vetiver, moschus, and ambergris. It's just a lovely, to me it's a very pleasant smelling soap. And it lathers extremely well. And I'm going to use the matching aftershave tobacco aftershave splash and tobacco was founded in 1959 by the company Maurer and Ritz and or at least Maurer and Ritz are current owners of tobacco so that's the soap and splash I'll be using my brush of choice I'm going to be using the DS Cosmetic oh sorry the DS Cosmetics 24 millimeter flat top synthetic brush Blade of choice for my razor, which I'm going to get to in just a second. Blade of choice is going to be, is the go-to blade for me, Voss God. And my razor of choice, as you can see on my shirt, I'm wearing my NeoGam shirt that I got from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. So my razor of choice is my, is my Neo Raz razor, also known as a NeoGam razor. Well, well, this is actually Neo Raz was part of NeoGam or Neo Lux. Back in 1935, it was, this razor was invented by Eric and Fritz Ebert, and it was made in Germany, and it was made, and they got their first patent for the Neolux slash Gam slash Raz razor in 1937, and, and it was in manufacturing in Germany between 1948 through 1954. These razors are very hard to come by. I was lucky last year in February to score this baby for 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 less than sixteen dollars. Well actually what I paid for this on eBay on an auction was fifteen fifty with free shipping. Cause these like the Neo Gam razors, whether it's the Neo Gam, the Neo Lux or this one, the Neo Raz, they fetch a pretty penny on eBay. And look and this is obviously a slant razor, but a different take on the slant razor. As you see, when you hold it straight, the blade is held at a diagonal slant. It's not torqued like the other I got her um, slant razors are. So that's the, these are the products I'm going to be using. So, that, so I'm going to wet the face, get the lathering, and go on, start my shave with the first pass with the grain. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone having some good shaves? Let me know in the comments. If you've used any of the Neo, if you've used the Neo Gam, Neo Lux, Neo Raz razor, tell me what your opinion is of it in the comments. Or if you've used tobacco products before, tell me what you like, whether you like it or not. Get that brush nice and wet. Because tobacco is, from what I've heard, and from what I remember, it is a very thirsty soap at times, but it's a rewarding soap. It gives you plenty of lather. It's triple milled, so it's going to last a long time. And generally speaking, it's just a great soap to have in your den. If you like this, if you if you if you can enjoy this, if you enjoy the scent of tobacco or vetiver or scents. You'll enjoy tobacco. Some say some some have said this is like a green tobacco scent. I could see that in a way, even though I just read the description of what the scent notes are. 
But this is just a lovely, classic, old-timey scent. And the, and the soap is slick as anything else out there. It's super slick soap. As I've used this in a number of times in the past. Just a super slick soap. And lets the razor glide super easy. But yeah, so far, as I know, tobacco is just a great scent overall. I know it's very divisive in the wet shaving community, because some say, like, they, like, I, like I mentioned, some wet shavers think it's an old man smell. But to me, it's more of a classic old-timey smell, like a, cla like a timeless scent. Time to shave with the Neoraz razor. And the trick is you want to keep the handle as straight as possible because if you tilt the handle too much, you lose, you miss out on the slant action. And this is a very loud shaver. But that's good. It gives you a lot of audio feedback letting you know what you're doing. Sometimes you just gotta make it work for you. And most of this razor is made out of Bakelite except for the clip which you slide the head on, which is made out of metal of some sort. And I should mention I have roughly 24, when I started shaving, I had 24 hours of stubble on my face. Give or take. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's just roughly a day's worth of stubble. Just a fantastic shaver. And if you can find one on a, at a dirt cheap price, grab it. If you like slant razors. Or if you're curious about trying a Neogam. It's easy to rinse out, I find.
That was the first pass with the grain. Going to re-wet re -wet the face, lather up again, and go pass two across the grain. Add a little more water to the brush, just for a little slicker lather. This is some, but tobacco is some great commercially made shave soap. It's not too expensive. And if you like old time, classic old timey scents, like barbershop scents, you may like this. Or if you just like classic gentlemanly scents, you'll like this. Just a nice creamy lather right there. And I know it's slick as a heck. It's super slick. Clear the lips so we know what we're shaving with. Or so we know not to shave that area. Time to go across the grain. Here we go. Just now finding the right direction. And I will say, there is a bit of overhang on this razor. Let's see if I can get that. It's hard to see, but there is overhang on the razor. So you just got to be careful about the tabs if you have a problem with that. So far, so good. A little tiny cut here or there, but not too much. Like one or two cuts, I see. Not a bad shaver. Very good shaver, actually. Let's take a feel. 
Okay, it's a mild shiver. I would say a mild shiver. I would say the Neo Gam or my uh, my razor the Neo Raz. is in the field of the mild razor. Not as mild as the Gillette Blue Tip, but it is mild, especially for a slant razor. Okay, that was the second pass. Cross the ground, we're gonna re re wet the face once more, and re lather and go for the third and final pass again, screen. But before that, I'm gonna use my stiffening pencil just to stop a little bit of the bleeding. Stop it before it staunch it before it becomes a major problem. Like they say. Stop making this prevent a small problem from being a big big problem, right? But even though I said it's a mild razor, it is very efficient. It's got a lot of stubble down. It still feels some. But that's normal with their second pass. Let's get the bowl, I mean the mug, whatever dish of tobacco to get some more soap on this brush. Add a little more water because it looks a little thick. A lot more water, whatever. There we go. There's that yogurt like consistency. Oh, just a lovely scent. Maybe not a nighttime scent, but definitely a morning scent. When you just want an easy going, gentlemanly scent, go for tobacco. Like a classic man scent. That's not too, too overbearing in my, according to my nose, but it's just an enjoyable soap. Okay, third and final pass against the green. Wait, wait, let's get all that soap off my glasses.
I must say, this is a very enjoyable razor to shave with, given its history and all. I will admit, it takes some learning and getting used to this razor. Once you get used to it, it's really fun to shave with. Very, even though it's mild, it's very efficient. Now I could see a man shaving with this that has a goatee or, or mustache that needs to do some detailing work. This would work really well for detail work. And if you're interested in buying one of the NeoGam razors, or whether it's NeoGam Lux or this one, the Raz, definitely do an eBay search. Even with the internet, do an eBay search. You may have to go search the international eBay sellers. Although I was lucky to buy this from an American seller. At a dirt cheap price, really. You know, fifteen dollars fifty cents or sixteen dollars fifty cents, whatever it was, for an antique razor that's hard to come by. That was a lucky strike for me. Okay, looking good. Just gotta touch up one or two areas with the stick pencil. But if you are gonna invest in a Neo Gam razor of any sort, make sure you may want to you may want to expand your eBay searches to international sellers, as this is a hard to come by razor here in the United States. And also look for misspellings of the razor. Like uh, this one was sold under the name Neo Raz as. R, as Raz spelled R-A-Z when the razor itself is spelled R-A-S. So I was lucky so, so, some people may have missed it when it put the misspelling. But keep your eyes peeled. Look for deals. If, you, if, you ha if you're one of those that has to have a NeoGam razor, expect to pay a pretty penny because they do fetch, oftentimes they fetch a lot of money. Unless, you, unless you're lucky enough to find a, a seller that's giving it away for a dirt cheap price. Or an auction that's very low ball. Well, let's see here. Let's try the face. White puff on sexist soup. I'd say it was a good shave today. Well, I didn't say it was gonna be today was gonna be a good day and a good shave. Shaking up the tobacco after shave. Oh, a lovely scent. I, I, I know tobacco is divisive in the wet shaving community, but I just love it. It's just a very relaxing scent. Very relaxing masculine scent. Looks like I got some of my lens in my glass. I'll get that afterwards. Well, and that was today's shave. And I give the Neo Raz Razor a thumbs up. Everybody have a good day and have a good shave, everyone. Goodbye.